Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. In this video I bought everything the Timu app suggested I buy for the aquarium hobby and I'm going to show you all those things and then at the end tell you if I think they're any good or not. So if you remember uh, a while back I bought a bunch of things off of Timu. Temu? Timu? So Timu, the sensation to shop like a billionaire and all the other things, this isn't a sponsored video or anything, but I did a video a while back where I bought a bunch of stuff for the aquarium hobby, and if you've ever used Timu, my god do they like to send you updates and notifications and try and get you to buy more stuff. So I took everything it suggested for me in one day and bought it, and this is it. So let's dive in. Um, yeah, the one thing that... It just amazes me how many messages they send you every day. So I took one day's worth, 24 hour periods, I think I'm in over two days, and everything that it suggested, you might like this, I stuck it in the basket, and then after 24 hours, I pressed buy. It has arrived, so let's open it up and see what we got. I have purposefully not looked back at my order to surprise me somewhat, because I can't quite remember what I bought, but there's a few things in here. It cost me a pretty penny. Um, so, we will just dive straight in with the first thing that we've got. So, first things first. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> it is something that has clownfish on it and a bit of plasticky thing. Lots of Chinese writing. The product description is elegant styling, elegant appearance, hanging design, the security, using 5 DCV, DC, and security. So it's secure, we know that much. Right, it has a clip of some sort. Fan, that looks like a fan. Uh, two speeds, a clampy bit. I don't know, bear with me. So, I've had to go back into the app and check my orders to figure out what this is. It is apparently a dedicated fish tank chiller aquarium cooling fan wall mounted. Okay. Um, if I remember rightly, when I looked at the picture, I thought, ah, well, that might be useful for some really hot days. Sometimes people are often looking for ideas on how to chill their aquariums, but let's plug it in. Ah, right, okay. So, intake fan here. And then, I guess you clip this onto the side of your, ta your tank because the exhaust is actually this bit here. And there is a bit of a flow there. £7.61. Do I think that's any use? I mean, it might work. It might provide you some benefit. I mean, it's quite nice having a little bit of a fan. Would I use it? No. Next up, we have an automatic add water and hydrator. I don't know what that means. Um, I can't actually see on my order what that might be, an add water and hydrator. Ah, right. It's a float valve with a thing to clip onto the side of your tank. That would actually be useful. So I hooked it up. Fairly good quality parts and sturdy. And it works. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It, I've made 3D printed versions of this, DIY versions, and it's as good if not better than any of them. It's relatively cheap. What was this? £8.48? Okay, it's not that cheap. But yeah, it's yeah, a win. I like this one. Forever walking away from fish tanks when I'm refilling them after doing water changes and I'm forever forgetting and flooding the place, so that might save me. So £8.48, happy worth it. Next, we have an XXL mirror. <laughs> XXL! Um, this is ingeniously called Mirror Mirror on the Wall, Who's the Smartest Beta of Them All? And then the picture of the thing has a picture of a flower horn in it. So it's a kind of enrichment tool that you use for betas and flower horns and lots, lots of different fish. So the idea being that you have a mirror like so, Stick it up on the glass and your fish get some enrichment trying to kill it. See if it works. Back there for Humphrey for a while and see if he cares. He likes to try and kill me, so if I put a mirror in the way that might help sometimes. It's actually going for it. So is it XXL? No. Is it worth £1.98? Yeah. Approved. This is plastic razor blades. These might actually be useful for scraping some algae and things like that. 
Um, I find the razor blade versions of algae scrubbers, algae, algae cleaners, actually do quite a good job. So a plastic version that's not going to slice my fingers up when I try and use it, that might work. So let's go and find some algae and see if I can remove it with this. I'd like to say it's really hard for me to find any tanks with algae in here because I'm such a good fish keeper, but then I'd be a liar. I actually works pretty well. I'm quite happy with that. It seems to cut through some of that horrible sticky algae. No problem at all. It's a bit safer. It costs £1.78. You get a whole bag full of replacement razors. Win. Generic cardboard box with no markings on it whatsoever. Ah, this is a clear aquarium fish and shrimp feeder tube. Convenient and easy to use. So, this is the idea is, it's a little chute that you put in your fish tank. I actually think if it, if it does what it says on the tin, if it is the wrong seal of these type of products, it will actually be quite useful. So I have a bunch of tanks that have floating plants and quite hard to get through them sometimes if you're feeding flake foods and things like that because they just sit on top of the plants and are quite annoying. There are a lot of parts to this and it's not immediately obvious what they all do. But this, the idea being, this sits on the side of the plant tank, you have your plants up here and it goes through that and obviously the food just goes straight down and sits there and the fish come and feed off that so you don't get any food matter just rotting on the surface of this aquarium. I mean, it seems sturdy enough. Let's try it out. So the idea is you put your food in, it settles in the little cup holder thing down below, and added bonus, you get to put it at the front of the tank and all the fish or shrimp or whatever come and feed in it and you get to see them a little more easily. And it works. I am approved. £4.48. Yeah, comes in lots of different sizes. That's, yeah, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Also comes with some cleaning supplies, a little pipe cleaner and a little feeding spoon. Can't go wrong at that. £4.98 does what it says. Approved. Next, Puri Resin. I imagine this is like a generic version of Puri Gen or something like that. I've used Puri Gen in the past and been quite happy with it. Um, am I really up for trying something like this in a filter knowing nothing about it and potentially wiping out a tank of fish? Tune in to a future episode. But anyway, if you're interested, £5.48. I might do a test on this um, later. Makes some kind of claims that it's an exceptional synthetic absorbent with unique characteristics that differentiate it from other filtration products. Puri resin provides a vital role in controlling ammonia, nitrates and nitrites, which are harmful compounds. Yeah, as to whether it works, I'm not going to answer that in this video. I think I would need to do some longer term testing, but for what price? £5.48 compared to Purigen? Not bad. What do we have next? Cuddly toy! <laughs> I did think, why are they suggesting this as an aquarium keeper that I would like a sealed pillow? I mean, it is cute. Um. Squishy cuddly toy, three pounds and two pence. My kids will like it. Um, fine, I guess. Just don't get why it's an aquarium product, but there you go. This one I think actually might be quite useful. I was excited when this popped up as the recommendation. Um, these are pond gloves. Now. Someone mentioned a while ago, but in a, in a previous video, any time I do any maintenance in this tank here, Humphrey, he just attacks. His default setting is attack. So I've got loads of scars on my fingers and things, from, and he just runs up. Gang, gang, gang. Somebody said, why don't you get some gloves, some chainmail gloves or something like that, whenever you're doing any maintenance. Now I have these. Um, they're called pond gloves. So again, if they think I like aquariums, why are they recommending pond stuff? I guess it's aquatic. Um, so you can do some maintenance in your pond, get down deep without getting all the pond muck all over yourself, I guess. Um, I do have quite big hands. And they fit fine, if I'm completely honest. Um, I don't know. Don't screenshot this, what that looks like. But let's have a go. We'll stick my hand in the tank and see if Humphrey bites. He will. 
and whether or not he does any damage to the gloves. They feel quite thick, so hopefully it'll be quite good. £7.78 though. Um, let's give it a go. Oh yeah. Well, he got me good and proper on that one. If that had been on my skin, I would be missing a chunk of finger right now. It did not break the gloves. I felt it. I felt the clamp. But, yeah, if I want to do a deep clean in Humphrey's tank now, I will I will use these. £7.78. Approved. <laughs> They're impossible to get off, though. <sighs> Very good. Right, this... I suspect is for doing water changes and things. And um, what are they calling it? An automatic aquarium water refiller. Wall mountable, wall mounted tube for easy top offs and fish tanks. Oh, I want an easy fish tank. Um, when I click on the link, it has now been discontinued. So I don't know if it's just terrible, but I thought this would be more use as a, a drainer of some kind. So you hang this over the side maybe connect a bit of a longer tube and then this valve here you could turn it off and on and it would just permanently be primed to siphon things so you can move it from tank to tank I guess but yes hook a hose up to this from your refilling station I guess and refill <sighs> would I buy one? no are there easier ways to do this? There, yes if you think you might be useful Give it a crack. £6.98, but you can't even buy it anymore because it's been discontinued. Down to the final two. Um, this one. Oh, this one. It's obvious what these are. These are 5 slash 10 aquarium filter media zipper bags for activated carbon ceramic fish tanks. Ceramic media rather than fish tanks, I think they mean. But these are quite small, really. Um, filter media bags. So you fill your filter media of choice into these pop it in your filter of choice whether it's a canister or a sump or whatever it is and it just keeps the media together I I have been a long time advocate of things like this, I use them all the time albeit much bigger versions but this if you've got a smaller filter that might be quite useful and why I think these are invaluable is if you ever have your filter go off or break or something like that, you can just take the filter media out, put it in the main tank in these bags without making a massive mess stick them on top of an air stone or something like that so you get some water going through them and it just keeps your filter media and your bacteria on your filter media alive um, if you have to move them between filters or do maintenance rather than picking out hundreds of ceramic rings you just pick out a couple of bags um, they're just really useful, love these things £4.48 for 10 bags that size you could probably get cheaper on Amazon for bigger bags and more of them Still, I like them. They might have a unique use case in some smaller filters. Good. So, last and potentially least, um, this is an innovative auto siphon pump. Innovative in that it's using technology that's been around for decades. Um, okay, lots of bits. We have a mishmash of parts. So, if I go by the pictures on the product page, we have this bit. So the tube goes on to that clips onto the side of your aquarium. That then links into one of these tubes. And then you have a little spady bit that goes on the bottom of that. There's a couple of these if you need to go longer. You can suit it to fit. And then this end attaches to... The pumpy bit, so that goes in tank, start siphon, drains tank. That's kind of it. There's also this bit if you don't want the siphony bit, I guess, uh, the speedy bit. It also came with this connector, which is for connecting two sets of water line. Does it also fit these pipes? Yes, it does, but that's actually quite useful. Anyway, so £3.98 actually works pretty well. Um, it's not the biggest of hoses, so it's quite slow draining, but if you've not got a massive tank, that might not be a problem to you. But are you really a fish keeper if you're not swallowing tankfuls of siphon water from your fish tank? Who knows? It works. It's fine. And there we go. That's my haul from Temu, Timu, whatever we're calling it. 
the thing that struck me was that was all recommendations in one day. So if you're going to get on the TMU bandwagon, you best get ready with your email filters because they send you a lot of messages. Buying everything that was recommended, mostly positive, I think. Most of those things I can put to some kind of use. Some of them a little bit more questionable, but hey. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. If you liked it, let me know in the comments down below. Come and join me on a Friday night, 9pm UK time. We do a live stream. Um, thanks for watching. Go and watch another video. Click all the clicky things and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!